okay, this is not for all my Tauruses, okay? I know that it's not going to be, but for those of you that this is for, I went ahead and pulled this song up. I don't, I've never heard this song. I've never even heard of this band. In fact, it's called Average White Band, which is funny because earlier I picked up on white, specifically the color white and even white out. And I think I picked up on that in Gen X. So maybe this is a Gen X or somebody in their 40s and above. Uh, possibly a Zenial. It doesn't have to be though. Why did I say it like that? Possibly a Zenial. <laughs> it's like I'm thinking, you know, um, some of your squints too, some of glasses, but anyways uh yeah so i heard before i started your message keeping it to myself okay and i typed in keep it keeping it to myself in google and the first thing that popped up was a song by the average white band i started reading the lyrics and i'm like okay so let's see what this is this message is all about somebody here who is a bit jaded uh so i'm doing jaden for some jaden aiden Any name starting with an A and E? Any kind of biblical name here? It's not for everybody. Also, anyways, that's not for everybody. Whoa, it's like an interception here, like somebody coming in. Let me focus. So, uh, what was I saying? <laughs> it's been a couple of As I was saying, somebody here is jaded. In this song, it seems to be a masculine and he's basically saying like, love is not what I thought it was. Every time I've given my heart, I've gotten burned and used. So like keeping it to myself, I feel like somebody, they have feelings for a feminine here, a feminine energy. Somebody has very strong feelings, really, you know, but then they, but then they no sooner want to say something than they pull back or they no sooner want to, you know, go for it. And then they kind of fold themselves back. And I don't know, it's just like this masculine here who's very jaded i can't stop saying it like e either you've got somebody who has feelings for you here unless this is you somebody here a masculine energy has feelings for someone and they're keeping it to themselves or you could have someone who is already seeing somebody a masculine and the masculine who's seeing someone there's there's they're not being completely honest like they really are feeling who they're with, but then, I don't know, they allow negativity from past relationships and things that they've been, you know, involved in to kind of get in the way of them moving forward or like stepping the connection up on a notch with somebody, the person they're involved with currently or seeing currently. Because there's still this like, If we have a masculine here that is seeing somebody, they got with this person or started seeing somebody too soon, way too soon. They maybe even thought, no, I was single for a little bit. It doesn't matter. This person was, you can be single and not healed. This is a masculine who wasn't healed before they started talking to someone, before they started seeing somebody. Maybe they started seeing someone thinking it would help them get over somebody. I don't know what their reasoning is, but either way, there was a masculine that wasn't completely ready and that's what the universe is trying to say right now or whoever this masculine believes in is like hey give it some time you know it's okay or you have a masculine here who's like they want to be ready but then a part of them isn't ready you know part of them pulls back and they're like jaded from their past although they actually really are into somebody or really like someone or really this, this feminine energy that they're into is nothing like anyone they've been with before. But then the negative side of them is like, no, it wouldn't matter. It doesn't matter if they're different. It's all the fucking same. I'm not, I've lost complete interest in love. I mean, I can't say I blame this masculine though. Doesn't mean it's a male. Can't say I blame this masculine because I fucking get it. Like if I get anything, bitch, I get that. Really? Where it's like, it's not a personal thing. It's not a you thing. It's not like, oh, I'm saying, well, there's something wrong with you. I just, what well, fucking sucks, you know? Especially the way that we're doing it as humans. Ugh. Like, I fucking hate the way we're doing it. I hate the way I've done it. I hate the way I hate it all. It's just, yeah, I believe in love, but not the love that that I've done in this planet, like on this planet and this, in this human body and this existence. Like, I'm not down for that. And I'm not down for what we think is love here. Yeah, I believe in love, but not that. 
So if you're on my level, as far as that, and you believe in love too, but not necessarily what we thought was love, then we can probably go somewhere with this. But otherwise, I'm just not going to even get excited about it because it's let me down every time. So, yeah. I don't think this is a negative person. Are they... Well, no, I'm not even going to say that. I was going to say, are they damaged? I'm not even going to say that. Yeah, they're jaded. I've said it a million times, but they're jaded. My eyes are very tired. They're starting to get, like, more tired as I've gone on. It's like these ring lights are piercing the shit out of my eyes. It's like, ah. I mean, it's probably part of the message, though. Somebody here's just gotten tired of love, tired of relationships, tired of dating, tired of meeting people, tired of getting to know people, tired of meeting their family, tired of the fucking introductions, and what's your favorite color, what's your favorite food, and tired of the we don't get along so we argue, like I'm fucking tired bro, I'm tired sis, like I'm fucking tired, if you, you know, you know, I'm tired of it, I'm tired of sex even, I'm fucking tired of it, I don't even get excited, I'm, again, this is somebody who's like, it's not that I don't believe in love. What I feel for you is love. What I feel for you could be love. It could very well be love, but it's just not what I've thought love to be thus far in life. And it may not be what you think love is. So how would we find out we're on the same page? Well, then we'd have to go through this whole cycle of fucking, and what if it ends up really bad? So it's just honestly, is it even worth it? Somebody's thinking that, is, is love even worth it? Like, even if there's two people who are seeing each other, somebody's thinking that on the inside. Like, is this even worth it at the end of the day? Like, are we going to take this anywhere? Really? And it's not, the thing, the thing is, it's not negative against who they're seeing. If this is two people who are not seeing each other, somebody's feeling this way, but it's not negative against the other person. Meaning it's not like a personal thing. Like, oh, you're going to be like everybody else. No, it's not like that. And I get that. I totally relate. I'm there right now in my life. So... I can relate to this person. If this is you, I get you. Yeah, to others, it could definitely come off as like, damn. Like you're just not a, no, you're a fucking realist. Somebody here is a realist. They're just a realist and they don't get all like caught up in the fucking, you know what I mean? doesn't mean I can't have feelings for somebody. It doesn't mean I can't be attracted. It doesn't mean that I don't want to experience love. But my type of what I know love to be is not at all what I've ever done before. That was that was programming. It's not at all what I see the majority of society doing and thinking that they have to do. That's programming, in my humble fucking opinion. So, but again, everybody can do what they want to do. You know what I mean? If it works for them, cool beans. Definitely doesn't work for me anymore. And so I get that. So this message, we're, we're, we're going to have to do um, a bonus. Because I know this isn't for everybody. But for those of you this is for, whether you yourself or another person, whether seeing somebody or it's you and another person, they're not seeing each other, there's the, the masculine energy, even if it's a feminine, having to take on masculine energy is is in the mode of yeah i might like you but what do you want me to do with that or yeah we might be into each other we might have a really good thing going on a good relationship if there's something already going on but i wouldn't say i'd want to just go get married or like you know what i'm saying because why that's a business i'm cool with hand fasting if we get to that point ever but marriage I don't know about that, right? Somebody here may be like, I never want to get married ever again. Like, I don't want to do the whole legal fucking, we're in a binding ass contract. To me, that's not love. To me, that's a trap. That's a cage. Now, if you see differently, that's your prerogative and that's your opinion. You know, just like this is mine. That's what somebody's saying here. This is somebody's very, like, almost hard to read a little bit, but not for me. I get this person. If it's you, I get you. But to another person that may translate as, do you do you love me? Or do you even care? Would you? 
Would you be loyal? Would you be faithful? It's like, see, and this is precisely why I don't fuck with any of that. No more. <laughs> Can't say I don't relate. I relate entirely. Keeping it to myself, let it build up on the inside. Keeping it to myself, baby, I tried. Wow. Oh, I kind of like it. Let's see, if, if I type in keeping it to myself, if anything else pops up. Keeping it to myself. Oh, here's an idiom by the Free Dictionary. To refrain from attempting to communicate or make connections with others. Like somebody here may want more, but they're not going to say it. Somebody here may, <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, I'm just going to keep it to myself. I'm just, I'm just going to keep it to myself because, you know, what good would it do? Like you could have a whole ass person even that likes you, loves you, finds you attractive, but they're not going to tell you. If you're already with somebody, talking to someone, seeing someone, they could all out ass see you as their wife or their future husband but they're not going to tell you that because they know they're not going to do it anyway so they're like you know because they've lost their interest for it it doesn't matter they're jaded and not only jaded it's just like it's a it's more than just jaded it's just like what's the fucking point really truly like somebody here is not just jaded they're woke or something i don't know maybe a mixture of all of it To keep something to yourself means keeping a secret or not telling someone something. Keeping something to yourself. Not showing your cards, not showing your hand, not tipping your hat, not expressing something. Let's say it isn't romantic. Let's say somebody here is like, I, I would like to be friends even I would like to be friends but I'm just gonna keep it to myself because it could end up biting me in the ass and I've had friends and people or I've done things before and they've ended up fucking me over so I'm just gonna keep it to myself but you know I mean I think you'd be a really cool ass friend but there's no point in me even saying that or even trying to establish a really close friendship or bond with you because I'm just not at that place so Pointless, you know what I mean? <laughs> wow. Hmm. Someone could also have an opinion here that they're keeping to themselves. Again, this could be you and it could be a reverse. Somebody could have an opinion that they're keeping to themselves, like about anything like I'm gonna give an example let's say you have a sibling or a best friend or fucking I don't know a co-worker somebody here who's meeting someone or talking to someone new dating someone new vice versa this could be you that's doing it seeking advice or maybe not even seeking advice but just talking about your relationship somebody is here to someone else right and the person that they're talking about their current partner to or somebody they're seeing or whatever the person they're telling this to is thinking we go again you know what I mean like you just gonna go why why do you do that like why do you even need somebody why why you know what I mean but they're just gonna keep it to themselves because they don't want to come off like an asshole or they don't want to come off like cynical or like they're non-supportive or like they don't really you know what I mean because it's not really like that yeah they're a little jaded but also they're they're woke and they see shit and they kind of see like why do you have to go marry somebody just because you love them why do you got to go live with somebody just because you love them why do you got to go have a baby with somebody just because you love them why do you got to go do all that just because you love them like why when did we ever start doing all of that why did I do it myself but instead of me being cynical and telling you all that I'm just not gonna do it I'm gonna keep it to myself because what good is it gonna do you have a right to choose what you want to do and what works for you maybe what's right for you is what's right for you and what's right for me is what's right for me so I'm just gonna keep it to myself you know you could have somebody here who's like. You know, I could try to uh, encourage the person I have a crush on to not worry about their ex constantly or why they cheated on them with their best friend or something, but that's not going to do any good. Or why they cheated on them with somebody, period, or somebody they worked with. Or I could tell them. I could tell them, but they're not going to listen. They're going to do it anyway. 
I can tell them all day, your ex don't want you. They cheated on you for a reason, but are they going to listen? Nope. Nope. So I'm just going to keep it to myself. I like them. I would be great for them, but I wouldn't want them anyway because their hearts don't want their fucking ex. So fuck that. I'm just going to be, <laughs> you, you get what I'm saying. This whole message is like, I'm keeping it and I'm just not going to say anything, but I'm thinking it. Could be about their own life, their own feelings, or about someone else, other things, shit in general. I'm just not gonna, yeah. Or, or it's like, I may like you, but that doesn't mean it's gonna go anywhere. That doesn't mean I may be attracted to you. I may have liked you if it's like past tense. Maybe there was a connection that was kind of lost. It's like, I may have liked you, but could do anything about it. You know what I mean? We didn't have any money, or we were both at different places in our life, or you were off limits for whatever reason, or I don't know. So I'm just going to keep it to myself. There's no point. Go about my jolly old merry old way, darling. All right, guys. Damn. Well, we're going to keep this here. Also, there's, there's something to do with a secret here. Somebody's been real quiet, keeping something, literally keeping something to themselves, not telling people something, whatever that is. They're not telling people something for a reason. There's a reason someone's been quiet. I don't think it's, it's just, maybe it's just nobody's fucking business. I don't know. Maybe you guys are doing that and you're doing it because it's nobody's fucking business. Maybe you're keeping a relationship quiet or a pregnancy, or a gender, or money, a romantic interest, sex life, I don't know, personal information, your next move, I mean, whatever it is, you're, you could be, somebody is here keeping something to themselves that they feel like is nobody else's business, because it's not. All right, now I'm going to go. Thank you for being here. I'll talk to you later. Bye.